good morning. It's another day. Now, I said I was going to be up about 10. I think I was. It's about half past 10 now. I've just got downstairs, got dressed, got myself a cup of tea. So, I think I did all right with times. Now, whew, today, today we've got a little bit to do. Um, still not too much. This quarantine situation is really starting to affect me and others. I know everyone's really struggling at the moment. Like, how much longer is this going to go on for? It's insane. It's absolutely mad. Uh, Boris Johnson now in intensive care. That's our prime minister. Um, got the whole country and almost most of the world in lockdown still. It's madness. Let me start this one on a low. But I'm just trying to... It's just something kicked in when I just started pressing record. Like, what I'm going to do today. And then started thinking... This is our lives at the moment. This is our lives. This is most people's lives that are just stuck at home trying to find stuff to do. Weird. Really weird. This is literally history in the making. It's, it's insane. Um, wow. Wow, 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 wow. <sighs> okay, right. Positives. Positives. We're doing stuff in the house. We're getting shit done. That's the main thing. We are making the most of the situations. That is what we need to think of, the positives. Got to think of what we're doing. Got to keep positive, keep mentally straight, which is really, really important. And uh, it's Easter weekend coming up. It's Good Friday, Easter Sunday. So, hey, that's something to celebrate, right? So let me all know what you're doing for the weekend. It's not going to be much, but let me know. It'll be interesting. Um, yeah, so we did all three doors last night. That's all done. And what we're going to do today, because I'm nearly out of gloss and I can't go and get any gloss, so the windowsill and the top button, we're going to sand those down, gloss those, that's pretty much all the gloss we've got left. So the only thing that we need to do in the bar, in the bedroom after that is the skirting boards, buy the carpet, get that down. Our bedroom is almost complete. We've already got some art. Um, let me just disconnect my phone. I've got it on charge for a minute. There we go. So... Basically, both my daughters um, are artists, one way or another. Um, one does kind of painting, abstracts and stuff like that, and the other does like uh, textiles and other bits and pieces. So what we've done, because um, basically my daughter that does all the main painting stuff, she's, um, unfortunately, she's got asthma. So she's one of these that has actually um, self-isolated. Uh, because she works for retail, she doesn't get paid for it. And, um, you know, she's got a mortgage to pay and everything else. So, you know, she didn't tell us that she was struggling for money a little bit. So what we decided to do, we were going to give her some money anyway. We are going to support her with her mortgage and make sure that she can get the payments down and everything. Um, we don't want our kids struggling at any point. So if we can help them in any way, we're going to. But to kind of make it easier, instead of just saying, you know, we'll just give you some money because she, neither of them are that kind of person that will say, oh yeah, I'll take the money. What we decided to do is ask for some of her artwork. So here we have loads of her artwork that she's done. Um, this one she actually did for me some time ago, the blue one, because blue's my favorite color. And um, I love kind of black and grays. I, I, I like the bland colors as well. Like I wear a lot of gray tops, black tops, white tops. So what we did is we actually bought her art off her. So this is some of her art stuff here. And this is what we're going to be decorating. Because we're painting all the house white. We want something on the walls to be cool. Now I can't show you them all because they're all put here. But you've got some large canvases of different kind of um, abstract work that she's done. And I, I think they're amazing. I think they're actually incredible. Um, there are more than just those three. I don't know where we've actually put the others. Um... But there's a lot more. So we actually bought her artwork off her in order to help kind of fund her mortgage. And gave her some extra money on top so she can make sure she can get her payments. So those are what we're going to be filling the walls with. So like once we're doing here, this is coming down, that's coming down. All those are going. And in the bedrooms, the hallways, um, the, the living room, we're going to be using our own kids' art basically. Uh, which is what we did in the guest room. I can't show you now because mother daughter who's come back from university is currently. So, yeah, that is really, really cool. But what I do, like, what I'd love you to do, if you could, show some support. I'm going to give you the details of our Instagram page on um, 
in the description below. Like, if you've got five minutes, go check some of her stuff out. She does sell art as well, so if you are interested in anything, either what she's got or something that you want her to do, speak to her, drop her a message or something because she is absolutely fantastic at the moment. Obviously, she's got all the time in the world and she'd really like the support. And just, just go show her some love because she is really, really good at the art that she does. So um, I'll drop the link in the description um, and go check out Hannah's Instagram with all her art. And Taz's. I'll drop hers down there as well. She does all kind of uh, different stuff. I'm ready to get Taz to do some stuff for us around the house as well. So, hey, that's pretty cool, right? Um, yeah, so I, mean, I don't know how I went from that to that, but it's all part of the decorating. There's actually some more than there. Excuse the mess on the table, but... Uh, it's more artwork here. It's really, really cool stuff that she does. And she loves doing like the black and greys and the whites. And I love that kind of stuff. So check it out. It's amazing. Now, we need to go up in a minute, sort the glossing out and do the do those bits there. So I'm going to have my cup of tea, wake up a little bit. I'm going to smash that up. I think that's going to be the plan so far today. And I might check out some Valorant again because that was really, really good. I don't know how long the beta is open for, so I want to make the most of that and see where you can actually get some wins in, which would be, which would be really good. So I don't think we got a win in yet. We won rounds, we never won a game, so I only played like three or four games, so yeah. Have you noticed this really common thing with me is I just tend to go off on tangents so much? Yeah, I do that a lot. <sighs> anyway, we're back upstairs, we're in the bedroom. Um, as I mentioned, the three doors now done. I can't remember if I showed you yesterday or not. Ta-da! All three doors are now actually white again. Um, the light's on in the, in the ensuite, which is why you've got the weird kind of glow here. Um, but yes, all the doors are now done. Um, looking fresh and white, as they should. So now, as I say, we've got to sort out the windowsill and the batten up top there. Um, so I just need to sort those out. I'll start with colours there from yesterday. Because, uh, yeah, I don't know how to look after myself. <laughs> Making a mess all the time. Oh, here's a question for you. Gutting. This is absolutely gutting. So when I originally did my um, my office, around the time of doing that, I ended up upgrading the TV downstairs to a Samsung 55-inch 4K curved TV. Beautiful TV. Stunning. But we had a 50-inch 4K Straight TV, non-curved, um, which is this one down here, the LG. Now, at some point, unfortunately, um, on the other side, the screen, I don't know how, because it's, it's, it was sat there downstairs just like that, up against the wall, protecting the screen. The screen got cracked. Um, not the outer layer, from what I can see, but the actual one you turn it on, the screen's damaged. So, does anyone know where you can get cheap, decent screens for... 49 UF 680V. If you find somewhere I can get a new screen for this, I would love to get this fixed. So we can either use it in the bedroom instead of this one, which is an old plasma TV, 50 inch, or we can put that in the office on the wall above uh, above our monitors and stuff, which would be awesome. So yeah, that kind of sucked. I was really, really gutted when I, uh, when I found out. I literally set the whole room up. Everything was done in the office, put the TV in there, went to turn it on, saw the screen. So, anyway, see, tangents, always going off on tangents. I can't help it, and then I forget what the conversation I was even having. Uh, but I do remember this time, windowsill and batten. So we're gonna sand those down now, get them nice and smooth and fresh, ready to uh, to gloss and get that done, and take the day from there, really. See what happens. <sighs> Tough times. Tough times. Okay, biggest problem with sanding. You guess what it is? Dust. Loads and loads of dust. I hate it. This is the worst thing. Like I literally getting everything covered. I've even had to hoover the windowsill because of all the dust that's been created. You can see on the TV the reflection, but there. And that's, that's not even the majority of it. There's been so much more dust. I'm having to hide. Like, even the iPad's covered in dust. My phone I've had to put, like, under the pillow. <sighs> it's a nightmare. Absolute nightmare with dust. But, 
all the preparation is now done. We've sanded it down, two grades, batten as well. So now we can get gloss in. And uh, I mean, that doesn't look too bad anyway, but there are some marks and stuff on it. There's a good to do with a fresh coat, and that obviously definitely needs a coat because it's like just knackered, so. <sighs> Yay for dust. That's how it looks like what it's done. You can't see it because the lighting is not great, but glassed and glassed. And that already, at this time of the morning, work is done. I was at this time of the morning, it's actually midday. So by midday, our work here is done. So now, that leaves me with the job of clearing up, dusting like mad, because there's a lot of it, hoovering, and then um, I need to sort yesterday's log out, because I need to do that, and eat. I haven't eaten today, and it's like 12 o'clock, so I really need to eat something to eat. So, yeah, good so far. So, vlog done, rendered, uploaded, spent some time in the garden. Um, it is absolutely lush out there. I think it's about 22 degrees Celsius from my last check. I uh, sat there out in the sun, enjoying a nice beer, supporting the brothers at Corona because, let's be honest, anyone with a sensible brain will know that they have nothing to do with this virus and they are actually losing a lot of sales. So, big support to Corona because it's a fantastic beer. It's a great beer. And I, I don't see why they should be suffering um with losses because at this time it's it's ridiculous so have the lovely beer in the sun just come up now and um it's about four o'clock so we've pretty much spent most of the day doing practical things um got a group chat was a group call with some of the lads one of my mates ben he was out riding today he really kind of hit home as to the fact that i need to get out and exercise more um so in the future expect me to be riding some bikes uh, push bikes, love to get back on a motorbike, but not ready for that yet. But yes, we definitely have to do some more bike rides in the future. I um, haven't done one in years, and uh, I used to really enjoy it. So definitely need to get some exercise, get some fitness going again. Um, it's getting worse the fact that I'm sat at home all day. So now it's just uh, time to relax, have a look at some games, and um, maybe check out Valorant again. Dinner's on, everything's under control, and then who knows for the evening. Not late gaming. I'm telling myself this. But I don't know what's going to happen. So hopefully we won't be gaming too late. Challenge. Just sat down eating dinner, right? And I think I found the biggest chip I've ever had. I'm not even kidding you, right? Excuse my dinner. It was pretty bland and basic. But food is food, right? Look at the size of that chip. Look at it. It's fucking huge. That is massive. It's like literally twice the length of the sausage. That is one massive chip. Now, my Instagram. Ah, oh, broke it. No, my Instagram is in the description below. If you can find a bigger chip than that, tag me on in Instagram. I want to see it because that is fucking massive. Okay. Getting bored now. Getting really, really bored. How much longer do you reckon this is going to go on for? That's the best question. I want to go out. I want to get outside. I want to go on adventure. I want to go do things. I want to see if my holiday is still going to be there. I, I don't know what's going on now. The weather is just really, really nice. I know you can go in the garden, but that's boring. I'm bored. I've played games. I've done house, like, DIY. I've done everything tell me what can i do to keep myself busy tell me <laughs> give me some inspiration because the more i sit in my office the more i'm starting to hate this area just purely because i'm spending so much time in here as well as family but still just in here it's mad i'm going mad well once again it's the next day so <sighs> i did end up having an early night last night i went to bed about nine o'clock however I didn't get to sleep till about 12, and I was up about four, at least four or five times during the night. So, in fact, I probably had a worse night's sleep last night than what I did when I was gaming until two o'clock in the morning. So, I can't win. Um, but, uh, <laughs> what were the chances? What were the chances? 
it just shows how much my pattern's screwed up. I don't sleep well anyway, but I mean, four or five times. That hasn't happened in a long time, so hey-ho. Anyway, that's the end of the vlog. I'll leave it here, start the next day, and um, as always, stay safe, be vigilant. I'll see you on the next one. Cheers, guys. Thank you.